Well, thank you. Good evening, everybody. And welcome to our uh, 1510 monthly uh, meeting. Um, this course, as always, will be recorded, hopefully, and uh, with sound, and will be uploaded to our YouTube channel. Uh, also on the YouTube channel, in the description area, you'll find um, a link that'll take you to the PDF version of the slides that you can see tonight. So um, I would like now to introduce our speaker, uh, Juan Diego Fonseca, or known to us as JD, uh, business development executive with BSI Group America. He has over seven years experience developing businesses with BSI in Central America, and Caribbean, the US West Coast, and currently on the East Coast. His home base is in Orlando. He has a BS in, in business administration with an interesting background of an ele electrical technician, metrology technician, including official metrology in Costa Rica, and experience in high mass and density determination for the medical industry. <clears throat> a new professional opportunity brought him currently in what we all know as the ice quality association. Uh, the presentation topic tonight is ISO 27001, the Information Security Management System for Manufacturing Organization. So join me in welcoming JD. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, because this is a formal presentation. This is a little bit informal. So let me have my coffee over here. Have a cup. I hope you, you're plenty of coffee. Is everybody plenty of coffee? Good stuff. Because I just prepared a um, presentation of 125 slides. We're going to be talking about security for three hours. <laughs> it's going to be a short presentation, but most importantly, if this is not a presentation, this is not a presentation that I will be the only one person hopefully speaking in this room. So I encourage you guys to give your ideas, share your experiences, because you will notice that in this presentation, what we are talking about tonight, you will be familiar with information security. Now, let me test the crowd, let me test the people. So please, showing hands, if you ever heard these words, please show your hands. <laughs> no, uh, let me use, have you ever heard about the word scam? Have you ever heard about social engineering? So have you ever heard about Hackers, have you ever heard about ransom? Guys, you're an expert on information security because information <laughs> security is always related with all of these terms. So I want to do this specific exercise because this is not an IT world. No, it used to be IT world. So right now, this is cross organization. ISO 27001 is a management system that is holistic to organization and it touches different areas of our business and is helping organizations to become resilient. So right now, on 2022, at the end of 2022, IBM, they made a research, and at the end of 2022, they came across with a very interesting result. And that result showed that 80% of manufacturers, they were attacked, they were cyber attacked, 80% of those manufacturers and those organizations that were attacked. And the main reason for those cyber attacks, it was just financial motivations, just to get money from the manufacturers. How much does it cost? $4.35 million, just damages or paying some ransom in order to recover information. So that's why when we, all, uh, we were having a very good conversation, I said, you know what? Information security is something that I would like to share with all of you guys in regard of how to protect your information and how to manage all the information of your organization, secure and always build. ISO 27001 version 2022 is a management system <clears throat> that is helping organizations to protect the confidentiality, the availability, and the integrity of their information. Normally, we use the acronym of CIA, CIA here for investigations, because we as a manufacturers and we as a quality as experts, we need to make sure that the information that we use for making any kind of decision is information that is accurate, is available, and is always the best information that we can use in order to make decisions. So ISO 27001 is the first framework 
accepted globally that helps organizations to protect their information. Usually, nowadays, organizations, they are really concerned about protect their proprietary information. While I was driving back from Orlando to Florida, I was discussing with Andrew about why our organization needs to protect their information. Let's imagine you are Coca-Cola. What is the best information that you would like to keep secret for all the time, forever and ever? Formula. Exactly. Have you ever imagined how many times Coca-Cola has been or somebody have tried to steal that information to sell to an editor? Any idea? Multiple times. This ISO 27001 certification or standard protects your proprietary information, but also it helps organizations to add extra layers on protected, protecting information protecting information of your customers, protecting information of your suppliers, or protecting your personal records or your own production records. For instance, you produce something, you have your blue uh, prints, you have your uh, specifications, or if you're a manufacturer, for instance, let's say uh, an aerospace company, and you provide to this aerospace organization, they need to make sure that all the blueprints or all the specifications and drawings that they are sharing to you in order to produce the parts, they are all the time. So right now, aerospace industry is becoming very strong on this one, and they are throwing down the requirements to their supply chain because they need to make sure that all information is sourced. Likewise, some other um, industries such as medical device, which is really stringent about, okay, this is my information, proprietary information. I don't want my information being sold either. So they are asking their supply chain, okay, they have to protect their information, you have to use high school and This is almost the requirement. So, like I said, international recognize, adds extra layer, and protects proprietary. Okay, so what is the main uh, objectives of ISO 27001 is reduce risk. If this is a risk management system, everything that you consider will be potentially happen is potentially to happen. Even though the Black Swan that you may ever wonder probably is going to happen, ISO 27001 is going to help you to understand what is the kind of risks that your organization will be facing. Safeguard information, help and continually find controls and protect your reputation. I have an example over here for protect your reputation. A customer, a medical device organization in California, they manufacture those patches that you put in your arms and they can measure the amount of sugar in your blood. And that device connects to your cell phone via Bluetooth and then by wireless, you are sending your information to a platform. That platform, your physician has access to get that information and see if you are drinking too much Coca-Cola or something like that. And they say, you're good, you're bad, you have to collect something. This manufacturer, they have participation around the world. They sell the products in, in Europe. And then one country specific in Europe called this customer and tell, okay, we love your products. You are helping a lot of, a lot of people in my country. But here and after, if you want to continue selling your products, you must be certified. ISO 27001, in the top of ISO 27001, we want you to add a specific regulation that we create only for this country, for this instance. And you don't have both for all business. Effective reputation. Just imagine what would happen if this manufacturer they said, you know what? I don't want it. They lose a portion of business. And whatever, they, whatever they do, whatever they happen, that what they discuss will be in media and immediately their reputation will be lost because they are not protecting the information of the customers, not because they don't want to do business in that, in that specific country. You're not protecting your customers' information. So again, 27,001 is helping organizations to protect information and protect their reputation. Nowadays, 27,001 has become really, really important and really popular amongst organizations. With more over than 58,500 organizations, they are certified for ISO 27,000. This information is coming from the ISO survey 2021, and they determine how many organizations they are achieving this certification. So right now, ISO 27,001 is constantly a new topic 
that everybody is talking about and recently we have noticed. One of the managers, they are calling us, they are saying, okay, I'm leading a project for certification on high school in 2001. I'm clueless. What do I have to do? How do I have to start? So this is the first step that we need to take in order to be aware of high school in 2001. It is understanding the management system and how the management system will be for the organization. Okay, ISO 27001 sounds something a little bit more technical, something more about in the cloud, something not really into the department, but this situation is changing. And ISO 27001 is in the standard that everybody is using and is applicable to any kind of organization. You can be a bank, you can be a manufacturer, you can be also a retail, wholesale, or even a restaurant if you want, because there are specific information that you need to protect. And of course, now the market is demanding that every part of the supply chain must be compliant with certain standards in order to protect the information. So ISO 27001 is becoming more relevant is becoming every time, like a, a new standard, in something that organization needs to put. The main motivation for these organizations to achieve certification mostly is due to reputation, is because they want to grow business. They want to they want to show to the regulators that they are taking care of their information or their customers' information seriously, and they are protecting all the time during different kinds of schemes or processes for um, reducing the breach for Using information, what their information is sold in the black market. Okay, so so far <clears throat> we all are in the manufacturing sector, and this is uh, four main sectors or producers that they are considered as a critical in the USA economy. So if you are in the primary metals or electrical equipment, transportation, or machinery. Machinery, you are you are working or you are considered as a critical manufacturer in the US. So what we want to show over here is for this is for these specific sectors, right now they are working in different or several um, supply chain networks where they are interconnected, where they are um, interdependent of information flowing down from them or them sending information to their interested, interested parties. For instance, this, these organizations, they need to make sure that the information about their inventory is precise. If they receive an MSDS, they need to know the specifications of the product that they got and they need to know that the product or the information that they're getting, they're receiving from their supplier is the information that is correct to their lot for production. So ISO 27001 helps again, to align that information and help to keep everything traceable and easy to understand and easy to disseminate across the organizations. Risk management with ISO 27001 will help you to determine what is your assets, what is the most important information that you need to protect according to your operations, and also how you're going to mitigate the risks and how do you mitigate disruption. And right here, this last point is really important to us because bad things can happen. Even though that you are prepared, even though that you know how to do the things, we have noticed that organizations with ISO 27001 certification and organizations without it, they have the ability to detect when they are having issues on their production or in their or their information is compromised. We have the case of one customer in Mexico, they were attacked. They lost some kind of information, but they never knew they lost the information. And they noticed that this situation happened three months after the event happened because they don't have any kind of control. So things could happen some, sometimes to be for a hacker or to beef to get try to get information, or sometimes it can happen because simple human error and yeah, is compromising information. ISO 27001 will help you. If something happened, you will be able to recognize. If something wrong happened, and then you will create a specific or worst case scenario in order to recover or to react against this situation. Okay, so so far, I've just described what is ISO 27001 and ISO 27001, how can 
we use it and understand why. So, so far, guys, any questions regarding ISO 27001? Okay, good. So right now we have the foundation. We understand what is ISO 27001. How do I bridge the gap of understanding ISO 27001 being ISO 9001, 14485, AS 9100, or automotive quality management system sort of organization in order to achieve 27001? So this is a good question. And this specifically is, is resolved because ISO 9001 and 27001, they continuously demonstrate organization, preparedness, and maturity on their management systems in order to manage information security and quality control or quality, quality, quality assurance. Because is this, let me ask you a question. The first time that you're going to adopt what is the first thing that you check at the doctor office? License. License. What else? Social security number. Oh. Social security number. Oh. Let's say health insurance plan. Exactly. So definitely yes. When you go to the doctor, what is the first thing you can check is certification. Where do they study? Are they a specialist on the thing that I'm trying to treat? Oh, well, I'm coming here, doctor, for something in my heart. Oh, no worries. I'm a specialist on your knees. I don't know. Heart. This is things that we have to check. So why would the doctor, we are doing that, why we are not doing the same thing for business? Sometimes we don't care about what is the certification of our suppliers as, or we don't care about the information that they are, they are using from my organization to provide a service to me. ISO 27001 is giving you this benefits of the certification. And now going into the ground for ISO 27, ISO 9001 is this. Are you familiar with this part? Rings a bell in all these red boxes? No? Yes? Show me next. Anybody? Is it harmonized with the ISO 9001? Exactly. This is the structure of ISO 9001, right? 10 clauses that we have to develop and we have to set in place different kind of documentation in order to comply this specific standard. But the good news, ladies and gentlemen, is ISO 27001 runs exactly in the same framework. And this is what we call the annex SL or the high level structure. Meaning that any single ISO standard is running under this processes, except ISO 13485. ISO 13485 deviates a little bit, but they got the same processes or the same classes. In this case, when you're implementing ISO 9001, you have to implement all of these, all of these classes. But if you need to implement ISO 27001, you need to set in place the same classes. But the only one difference is the class number eight, which is this operations. So for ISO 27001, right here, we are going to address specific controls for information security. Likewise, information um, quality. We will be focusing here on the operations, quality controls or quality procedures. If we are using ISO 14001 for environmental management system, everything will be the same except plus number eight that I will be focusing, focusing specifically on environmental management system. What I want to say with this one is if you are interested or on implementing ISO 27001, and you have the framework of ISO 9000, you have done almost 75% of implementation of the new standard because everything runs into the same cycle, into the same kind of implementation. Any questions so far? Good, perfect. Silence is compliance. I heard <laughs> one once in the audit. So we have silence, compliance over here. Ladies and gentlemen, right here is the essence of ISO 27. Right here, we are still on the class number eight of the Annex Excel. And right here, the class, the class number eight requires that implementation will be focused in four main domains. And from these four categories of services, 
they are specifically ninety three controls. And those ninety three controls will be addressed to your organizations depending on the risk that is possible to happen to your organization. Most of them, they are kind of a same framework for the majority of implementations, but there are some other specific controls that they will be specifically applicable to your organization. So with that said, for a category of services, 93 controls and additional control for ISO 27001. Moving forward, this is the four uh, main uh, domains. I wouldn't list all of them, otherwise the list will be endless, but, and also because copyrights and ISO, they get a little bit sketchy by push a lot of information because ISO standards, this is something that you have to buy your own version, your own document, and it is supposed that you can then share all of that information. But anyway, right here, this is a conversation that we can talk about. <laughs> Right here, four main controls and four domains right here is addressed. And the first one is organization controls. Guys, please, when I mention any, any of these, and of course you have written them all, showing hands, does any of these categories, do you guys use it to classify the information? Yes, no, yes. Do you use classification information? Probably, yes. Do you use labeling information? Probably yes. How do you call your SOPs? There is a specific number of this specific combination. How you label your information? Information transfer. For instance, today, happened to me. <laughs> I was ready to shoot this presentation. I brought my computer. Computer was fully charged. I cannot use this monitor. And I cannot use a USB stick because ESI, that's our information security policies. We cannot use these mistakes. So what do I have to do? I have to go to my email. I have to get my email, send the information to Bill, and I know the information is sensitive. This is information transfer. And I am mostly sure the organization has something in place in order to transfer information. Likewise, return assets. So if I want to return this computer because it's old, like it anymore. I have to return it to BSI, and BSI will give me a brand new computer. But this computer, I have to hand out personally to the IT person. That person in IT has to erase all the information, and that person will destroy the computer. Different, because this is part of our policy in matter of return assets, intellectual proprietary rights. So, what means that information about the Coca Cola, for instance? Only two people will be allowed to access that information. And this is strictly controlled. Probably your organization has seen a secret formula that nobody has access to. Or there is just a few people who will be able to access this information or change the information. So right now, this is another control of what you're tired of rights. And what happened with your employees? What happened with the records that we hold about our employees? We know from our employees their home address social security number, if they use a credit card or a bank uh, account, in order to transfer their paycheck, you need to. we have this information, we need to this. So as you can see, all of these labels and all of these categories of controls, there is something that mostly all organizations have something in place in order to cover in order to protect this information. Am I right, everyone? Sounds good, huh? Mm -hmm. So right now you have one control, one domain, of ISO 27001 already built to the organization. Second control, people control. What to say about people? We are spectacular. Sometimes we have great ideas. Sometimes we come with magnificent and creative processes to do things. Sometimes we must stop big time. Not because we want. Sometimes this is thing happens and we fight them off my policy, we just do our things because we are not going to do that. So ISO 27001, the second control is people control. How do we screen people? How do we uh, turn and we set the terms and conditions of employment? 
how do we manage the information security awareness, the responsibility after termination, remote working after COVID. After COVID, everything changes. Nobody wants to work at the office. In my case, because I do business development, I have to go and visit clients face to face. Nowadays, it's so hard having a face to face meeting because nobody goes to the office. Nobody. And it's really hard because whatever you want to do, send me an email, let's do a conference call and talk. But this remote working right now is challenging organizations because all the information usually was kept in only one facility, one office, right now is spread across the country. Because remote working, I can work right now here in Florida, but next week probably I will be in Colorado because I can be in skiing. I'm working, but my information is always with me and the company's information is always uh, a little bit compromised. Let me talk about this people controls with one history. Do you know millennials? Do you know any millennial? <laughs> do you know any? Yeah. <laughs> Let, let's do something really millennial. Um, I take a selfie. All of you guys I take a selfie and I put it in the on Facebook or in Instagram. Well, now <clears> we're <throat> just sophisticated guys from Slinton. Yes, we <laughs> show really professionals. We are definitely, we are. But sometimes we don't take care about the information that we are posting. The web. A customer, a guy, a millennial, he took a selfie with the big logo of his organization in the background. His computer just right here, big monitor, and very nice and shiny sticker on the foot of his computer. Oh, he uploaded the picture in Instagram with this logo. Do you know what was with this sticky note? Can you do? Passwords and users. His user and his password. Oh. Boom. Instagram. Probably he got a lot of likes, but then the organization was hacked and all of their information was stolen. Mm. Nobody noticed because there were no intrusion because it was a friendly access to information. So this organization, they never knew what happened. Oh, our patents, our patents was, was lost. Oh, our customer's information is in eBay and somebody, and somebody is buying my customer information just by putting euros on the web. Crickets, what happened? Crickets, nobody knew, unless a work, uh, job man, work man, this pal, Check on his link on, on his Instagram and said, Hey, to me, to me. <laughs> <laughs> but man, picture that you post on social media, take a look on the sticky note. Mm -hmm. What is that information? These passwords, these usernames, the old networks. Information is gone. Reputation of that company is gone. And guess what? Guess what happened with that guy? He was terminated. He was terminated. Intentionally, but he compromised organization information just because he wants to share something. So that is the reason why ISO 27001 on people controls, they are really strong on remote working processes and, of course, terms and conditions and information security awareness for the organization. Guys, again, for the second control, does any of these controls sound familiar to you? Okay, from the from the four domains, two of two, you are aware and you know of this right? So let's say 50% of the four controls for ISO 7001, guys, you are an expert. Let's move on to the third control, physical control. Even though that we are quality, people, quality experts, we also see these controls in place in our organizations. If I want to visit you, fill your organization, for instance, one of the first thing I need to do at the reception is register myself. My information, my phone number, the, the reason why I'm visiting Phil, my phone number and the, the company I work with. This is physical security parameters and 
physical entry. Who has a specific control? The organizations that are taking place in order to protect who is getting into my facilities and what kind of information or what areas is this person visit. They give me a batch, and with that batch, it says in a huge B, red, this guy must be supported all the time because he is a visitor, he is welcome, but we don't trust him because we don't know he is not in the organization. Protecting against physical threats, somebody who wants to jump the fence or somebody who wants to pass the reception without registration, just wandering in vicinity, just to see what's going on. This is not allowed. And this is another thing that high school is protected. And I know for sure this one, if you're working in a production site, this is one of the first rules. After you finish your shift or you stand up from your desk, clean everything, lock all the papers, lock your computer, you're good to go. And if you don't do that, maybe you won't be fired or somebody next day will come approach to your friendly and say, hey, you know what? Protect your information. Close your computer. Clean your desk. Make sure that if you're managing credit card information, and if you take note, you have to destroy the paper after you finish your shift. This kind of information, this kind of processes, they are required. Ladies and gentlemen, third control does this controls make sense? Have you ever heard about it? Does your organization just need that? Yeah, perfect. 75% of core controls, high school 7001, you know. And of course, because this is the standard that came, came from the information technology department, right here, this is a little bit more into the IT guys. So these guys, definitely, they know about the access to rights. You as a manager, probably you detect and you say, okay, JD, I want you to have access to this specific information. But Jonathan, you will, you will be the super user. You have full rights to modify this information, right? This is given by the IT guys. Information deletion. So we need to delete some specific file. How do we make sure that this file is deleted? If nobody has access to this information and this information is gone, I suppose it's impossible one since it's specific. And then there's the onset of information, backups, information that right now is stored here, probably is stored on the cloud, but probably our your organization is using a data center, maybe in Costa Rica, because they want to disperse the risks. This is data redundancy, but it's a little bit more for IT guys. Oops. And cryptography, the way how we want to encrypt our information and make it secure all the time, and outsourcing management. Right here is your suppliers. How are you going to manage your suppliers or if you outsource any activity, how you are going to protect, make sure that your contractors, they are protecting your information. So that's control. Anything of this? Sounds familiar to you guys? Congratulations, because these four domains are the main controls or the main areas that ISO 27001 is considering under as a management system. So if you're familiar with this or your organization is using these four controls, and if you consider ISO 27001 is a good win for you to implement, go for it. Or at least if you're not pursuing certification, no worries. Use the framework to be compliant. And then when you have your meetings with top management, top management express any concern about information security. Hey, Mr. CEO, we are not certified ISO 27001, but we have management system in place with controls in place and effectively audited. We can tell, we can shift certification to ISO 27001. Congratulations, because right now you are adding a new standard to your organization. Effortlessly, just because you are certified on the high school. Congratulations. Done. We're done. Additionally, for ISO 27001, we have additional, additional controls or additional documentation. Let me share this. And let me point this ISO 31000. 
the spice of 31,000 sounds familiar to you, rings a bell to you guys? No? No? Okay. On ISO 9001, on class number 10, continual improvement, there is something that they are mentioning lately on the 2015 version, which is the risk management. Now, sounds a little bit, even though ISO 9001 is not demanding that organizations are applied, applied with risk management, they make mention of the organization could use frameworks for risk management. And on the ISO 9002, they made the reference of ISO 30,000 for risk management. ISO 27001 also uses ISO 31,000 for the risk management. If you have a free time one of these days and you want to take a look on 31,000, take a look, and this is going to give you a very good tool to manage the risk at your organization, ISO 31,000. Last but not least, related with 27,001, there is some specific controls. If you are an organization that uses the cloud to host your information or use that information in the cloud for delivering services, ISO 27,017 is an additional control that you can put on top the four additional controls that we talk about ISO 27001 to protect information in the cloud. And last but not least, if you manage BII, personal identifiable information of your customers, and you render service using this information, this 27018 is a new standard that the industry is requesting organizations to achieve that certification. So, with this associated standards for documentation, this specific risk management, and these two additional controls for ISO 27001, you are protecting all of your information, your organization, and you are enabling the information receivables of your organization, and you are helping your organization to keep the memory fresh because information always stays at the organization. So, ladies and gentlemen, any questions regarding this or anything that we have said just? Sorry, what was the point? No, technology. Exactly. Technology. Leave that portion to your IT guys. <laughs> they know how to do it, but probably you are familiar with this one because this is just a conversation with the cryptography. Right here. Cryptography. How do you encrypt information? Are you going to use Morse code to capture information? or Recently, I learned something about cryptography. Do you know that the only one mean of communication, electronically, of course, that is impossible to hack is, do you know the technology? Facsimile. Yep. is the only one mean of communication that we use and is not susceptible to that. So right now, if you need to transfer something absolutely confidential, something that nobody needs to know, that's it. Yes, sir. Well, facsimile, you were the one entering the phone number, right? Yeah, same thing that you, that you, that you could enter their own phone number. Oh, well, yes. <laughs> yes, well, uh, this is a possibility, but right now we're talking about if I, I know that you're going to send something really important to Phil and I want to hack, hijack that information, it will be it won't be possible to hack. Now, if you by mistake send the information to Eduardo, and Eduardo, he's a very nice person, he said, hey, Herbert, this information is not for me, I'm going to destroy the paper. Yeah. Thank you, Eduardo. What? This is not up because... You are yeah. absolutely sure I, that I you're see your point from information. the point of view of hacking. You, exactly. Right. Yes, okay. exactly. It is the same thing as if you want to hack a database or you want to steal some information over email, it's easy to hack that information. And that was what I was referring about. So I draw that you're sending it to a person that is into criminal activities. Because I, like with my phone number, I was getting all of 
the Morgan and Morgan mm -hmm. planes for these being back to my house. Yeah. And I was like, oh, it was <laughs> yeah. I mean, something something yeah, that just that happened crazy. to me. And I swear, it's, it's, it's not a lot. I got like seven text messages from Amazon telling me that my account was closed. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 And Netflix. Yeah. Netflix. I mean, every single information or even your phone number right. say you are in. I'm a kind of mean image. Okay. So I use a lot of uh, Instagram and Facebook. Uh, okay. And well, yeah, like me. So I saw an uh, interesting certification in sales. And it said, you know what? So I put all my information, phone number, of course. And after I key in my phone number and then I submit the form, I started getting a lot of messages about my Amazon account. Right. Being suspended. That thing, ladies and gentlemen, is something a new term: social engineering. What child would that mean? Because based on your profile, based on your information, based on the likes that you give somebody in Instagram or Facebook, I don't know how. Well, I know the algorithm reads that information and determine your preferences. So that information is uploaded into the into the cloud or into the web. And that information is providing you. So people with good intentions is providing you to sell you something. But people with bad intentions, they are providing you to steal something from you. Guess what? What is the information that they want to steal from you, especially here in the US? Exactly. Social security. They don't care about the credit, the, the credit card. They don't care about where you live. Because with your social security number, they can get loans. They can get credit cards, they can buy a car, and I don't know, if I don't protect my social security number, probably somebody's driving a Ferrari right here in Miami, <laughs> my name. See? I have to let one of my coworkers say, okay, I can't. And it's almost close to 100000 dollars in debt. So right now your personal information is sensitive. So you should give your social security number to anybody. And if you do it, fax it. <laughs> no, no, no. Just, 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 kill, just call somebody and just give them for just to be sure. That's true. Yeah, that's Yeah, I'll just give you Yeah. I can use this example and I can give more information because this is something that happened in Washington News. Uh, Costa Rica. Costa Rica Ministry of Treasury. They were hacked recently. So the information of all taxpayers. Hmm. But the curious thing is the biggest uh, taxpayers, their information. There's no possible way for the Costa Rica government to charge these guys because now Costa Rica government, they don't know how much those guys owe to, to the government. This kind of situation with this situation is happening right now under the information security. So as you can see, you can go up to personal motivations. You can go up to big national situations. And this is because there are a lot of uh, people making money, stealing information. So you, as quality professionals, please keep in mind this controls in order to make sure that your operations are safe, and your information is protected. And please remember, information security is the information, that the information protection and is the memory of your organization protection. Just imagine a company of 100 years operating in the market, and suddenly they had Alzheimer's because they don't remember they were doing less money because the information was stolen. I guess no company can afford missing that information just because they don't have any control. But no worries, you're good because from the four controls that we just discussed, guys, you understand all of them and you ever heard about some control. So good, good thing you're in a good way for information security. Certification. So right here, last but not least, 
uh, list of current certification management systems in the place. We have ECI. This is heavily used for encryption, end-to-end -end information when you're paying with your credit card. When you pay with your credit card here, and then I'm receiving the payment there, that information of your credit card and your transaction and the amount is totally encrypted by this process, this, this PCI. This is um, a standard used by the US government to protect information, especially when you're working with the Department of Defense, they will ask you to be certified onto this. ETIL is a uh, information technology international library, set controls, different information regarding information technology, keep up that everybody is talking about, protecting my information about, okay, how healthy I am. HIPAA is a regulation and GDPR or CCPA or uh, Personal Information Protection Act is another standard that is currently used here in the USA or internationally used. If you have ISO 27001 certification set in place for your organization, immediately you are compliant with this regulations because ISO 27001 is not on top of the regulation, but is a alleviation when you need to apply for this specific regulation. Ladies, gentlemen, questions? All right. Any questions? Oh, oh sorry. Any questions. questions, sorry. Any questions for JD? Okay. Well, you mentioned you mentioned NIST. NIST. Um, yes, sir. How does how does the twenty seven thousand fit into the Department of Defense CNMCs? Yes, this is a very good question. Well, CNMC is in the specific department from the Department of Defense. Right now, initially, they approach to all of the certification bodies and they say, "Hey, guys, we need your help for this certification." But lately, in December, in September last year, they said, "You know what?" If you want to be compliant, you can self-assess your organization and then you can self-assess or you can self-proclaim or claim that you are certified in the system. So the initial approach to the certification part is helping this organization. It's not any longer viable because if I can do it by myself, why well, I'm going to use BSI to assess my organization. So right now, this is the standard for CNMC. But yes, definitely ISO 27001 has a specific component that is within the requirements of CMNC in order to be certified. But right now, because this last announcement from the government is almost the process that everybody can be so. But are the, the standards, I think they have like 114 controls or yes. something within the DOD? Yes, they had they had 114 controls, but with all due respect, they're using almost the same controls that ISO 27001-2013 used to have. So recently, ISO 27001 had, had a new reshape on the controls, and they reduced controls from 114 to 92 controls. So this is the big change. Okay. And with the CMMC, the DOD will not, they, they won't do business with you if you're not to level one, two, or four. Exactly. Like five. Tier one, two, three, or four, yeah. you must be certified. And if you're not, Sorry, but we cannot do any kind of business with you because, again, you can have the batch of visitor, but you can visit us, but you're not trusted. Zero trust is the policy. Any other comments or questions? Mark, this might be a stupid question. Uh, but, uh, I know with, with you were talking about um, self, self certification, they have a lot of that food industry too. Yes, self certified. And this is in the ISO system. This one that allows for self certification versus one that, that requires certification by an outside body. Uh, for the food standard, you say? Or for this, for this one? Well, this is standard, yes, definitely needs uh, third party certification. Okay. In this case, you can contact DMV, you can contact uh, SES, you can contact ESI, yeah. and three of us can be used for certification. But yes, definitely you need a third party certification. Thank you, um, JD, on uh, on behalf of the members of the board of ah, Section 1510. Thank, thank you very oh much. Just a little God. token for for uh, being thank here. Thank you very much. Thank you.